Abdominal strengthening sequence, beginner's level. This is all about strength and control around the abdomen as we add leg movements. So to begin, we're gonna come into our rest position, lying on our backs, knees bent, feet hip distance apart. The goal is to keep a marble resting on the small of your waist. To find that neutral position, just press the small of your back into your mat, flatten down your spine and then ease away. And you should see that little space created at the lower part of my back as I roll on and off my pelvis. And as I do that, I'm visualising a marble rolling towards me and away from me. And then I'm going to rest just in between those two positions so my marble is steady and there's a very small space in the small of my spine. I'm also going to check that my marble isn't rolling from side to side and I'm not tilting across. Now I've done that, I'm going to take a deep breath in to prepare. As I breathe out, ever so slightly gently drawing my lower tummy to my spine and floating my leg up into tabletop position. Tabletop position, the knee is at 90 degrees and the hip is at 90 degrees. Lowering down and then repeating that tabletop position on the opposite leg. Really focusing on controlling and stopping that marble from rolling forwards and backwards as I come in and out of tabletop and stopping that marble from rolling from side to side as I swap legs. And this is our scissors level one. Keep it going. Let's do a few more of these. And these are going to build up into our double tabletop prep. Now remember, you can pause at any point and it's always good to reset and readjust if you feel like you're losing that control around the pelvis. Let's progress on to our double tabletop. So we're going to hold one leg in tabletop. I'm just softening the rib cage down towards the mat to allow me to float my second leg up. I've now got both legs and hips at 90 degrees and then I'm slowly lowering back down. Don't forget that marble. As you lower those legs down, don't let that marble roll away from you. Let's go again, double tabletop prep. Soften the rib cage to bring the second leg up and then slowly down. Now as your legs lower down, your back's going to want to arch up, but you've got to use that tummy control to stop that from happening. If you want to work a little bit harder, slow that leg movement down. See how slow you can go without letting your lower back lift off the mat. I think we've got about three more. Make sure you're breathing. Don't mind how, but just keep those breaths nice and deep, right down to the base of your lungs. You should really feel your tummy start to engage now. Two more. Remember, you can pause at any point and make sure it's not pulling in your lower back. If it is, go back to our level one. Okay, we're coming into our double tabletop position now as we add in a single leg scissors. So my left leg is staying steady and I'm simply lowering my right leg in and out of tabletop. Again, avoiding that marble from rolling down towards my feet as my leg lowers and avoiding that marble from rolling from side to side as I've got one leg moving and one leg steady. I think that's four. Let's add two more before we swap sides. Breath out to lower down and in to come back. Okay, I'm feeling good, so I'm gonna go onto the other leg, but pause if you need to, hug your knees to your chest, reset, and then get ready, go back in again. Three, two, and one. I'm just gonna do a few more on each side so we can all catch up and get back into these together. Brilliant. Okay, now as we're doing this, just keep a check on this tabletop leg. Make sure it doesn't start to drift off or change position. We wanna keep it nice and steady. Imagine you've got a cup of tea or maybe a gin and tonic resting on that top knee. Don't spill it because you're gonna need it later. Now I'm feeling a little bit tired, so I'm just gonna hug my knees to my chest to set us up for our final exercise. 
So we're gonna come into hundreds. I'm gonna give you two options here. Option one is our hundreds level two. We're back in our lovely tabletop position. I'm gonna reach the hands down towards the floor, sliding my shoulder blades down, and I'm gonna try and flatten my shoulder blades onto the mat, hover the arms off the mat, and we're gonna pulse. This is your first option. Now, if you want to, you can make it a little bit harder. Slide the ribcage down towards the waist and float the head and shoulders off the mat. Now, to protect the neck, you want to imagine a juicy peach resting between your chin and your chest. You don't want to squash that peach down, but you also don't want to lift your head up, otherwise your peach will roll away. So you should be looking just above your knee. Now, if that gets uncomfortable, you can keep going with those arm pulses and lower your head down towards the mat. Okay, we're still here. We've got 100 pulses. Hope you're counting. Make sure you're breathing and work that pelvic floor for me. So draw your pelvic floor in, creating tension to help with that stability. Good. I make that five, four, three, two, one. Lower the head down if it's lifted, arms come down. We've got another side to do and then that's it. Floating the left leg into tabletop now. Slide the arms down towards the feet. Hover and pulse. Good. In fact, let's do these pulses with palms facing up. And then if you wish to, head and shoulders float off the mat. Keep it going. Tummy should really be feeling it now. Open through the fronts of the shoulder blades. Imagine, sorry, collarbones. Imagine beams of light shining out the fronts of your shoulders. Don't hunch through, open them out. And remember that juicy peach, keep it level. Let's do a few more pulses. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Slowly down, head down. And hug those knees towards your chest, lovely. Gently rock from side to side. Good work, guys.